Hello there, this is Yak with Yetta, where I talk to you about whatever whilst playing a random game. This time I'm playing Pong 360. I'll include a link to the game in the description below if I remember. If not, please remind me. So, how have you all been? Right now I've been a bit distant lately, mainly because of uni, then exams, then getting sick. You know, being winter here, it's just everywhere, the sickness. But I'm better now, and it's holidays for the next month, so all good. Got another 12 days to wait until I get my exams and semester results. That will hopefully tell me I've passed statistics. Woo! So I never have to do it again. And that I got distinctions in my other subjects, of course. Fingers crossed. Other than my YouTubing this holidays, I've gotten myself another project to do. And I've been asked to write an article about sciencey animal stuff for a magazine. So if I can get my name out there and publish, that would be super awesome. I'm going to try and get it done by the 30th of July, so it will be ready for next issue and hopefully published. So stay tuned and you might get to read some of my more professional stuff soon. Let's see, what else have I been up to? Hmm. Sydney Supernova, of course. Ah, yes. I know that was a couple of weeks ago for my fellow Aussies, but it was still great. And I've got to talk about it. For those of you who don't know what Supernova is, it's a big pop culture festival that happens in Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney, usually, every year. And I suppose it's similar to the Americans Comic Con. So... I guess it's not as big, but we still get stars and it's all about comics and sci-fi and anime and, you know, just pop culture in general. So, what did I do there? I, I got to meet Mercedes McNabb who played Harmony in Buffy and Angel. Also, Christopher Lloyd, who most of you will recognise as the Doc from Back to the Future, or Uncle Fester from the Addams Family movies. He was also the crazy evil tomb killing guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is a brilliant film, highly recommended by me. Oh, uh, yes, and my favourite person I got to meet was Eric Roberts who I knew as the master from the 1990s Doctor Who movie with Paul McGann, who was the Doctor. He was also really nice and fun to talk to. Also got my photo with him. But he's also been in lots of other movies, not as a main character so much, but he was in the movie recently, The Expendables, with a lot of older actors, which, you know, he fits into that group too. But yeah, he's just a great guy. So if you have a chance to meet him and you're a Doctor Who fan, go for it. Other than meeting actors, I did my fair share of Doctor Who cosplaying as well. Yes, I'm, if you haven't figured it out, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. Classic and new. Patrick Troughton is currently my favourite Doctor. He was the second. So, yeah, anyway, back to Supernova. Um, with my cosplaying, the majority of people didn't recognise who I was because I was playing someone from the classic Who times. In fact, 1970s times, with the third Doctor, John Pertwee. I went as Jo Grant. She was a unit agent and assistant to the Doctor. And I dressed up as what she was wearing in Day of the Daleks. So, look that up and you can see what I dressed up as. And you know, if you really want, I can post pictures from Supernova. But that depends on how many people ask for it, how many people like this video, and how many views I get. Whether you get to see me or not. So, yeah. Only hardcore Doctor Who fans knew who I was, and that was all that counted to me. I personally don't like cosplaying as someone everyone will know, because then everyone will also be dressed up as them, and it gets really boring if everyone's in the same costume. But I suppose it's also a good conversation starter when people ask who you are. So, yeah. 
Supernova Aurora was brilliant time, except walking around on concrete for two whole days. And also went out Saturday night in the costume with other Doctor Who cosplayers, and I was still in my high heeled boots. Yes, the character Joe was wearing these knee high white high heeled boots to run around in and, you know, run from the Daleks and stuff. So I wore them and we walked on concrete for two days and pretty much destroyed my feet for a couple of days afterwards. And I do not recommend doing that. But Supernova or Equivalent, I do recommend. Right now I am waiting for the third game of State of Origin to start. Once again I'll explain for my overseas viewers. It's a rugby match. This match happens once a year. It includes three games and is between New South Wales, my team of course, and Queensland. Yeah, them. Queensland are the Maroons and just quite an ugly colour if you ask me and New South Wales the Blues, which is much prettier. So aesthetically, New South Wales is a better team, so you should support it. So far we're one game each and this is the deciding match, so unfortunately it's in Queensland, so there's like morale for the Blues. Also the Blues seem to be on this long losing streak, which sucks. But still, go Blues! Well, I'm going to go find some food to nom and finish this up and my match will hopefully start soon. I think I've rambled on to you all enough by now, so stay tuned for my next, hopefully, animal videos. And until next time.